Chenzo, let's go crypto investing and let's take a quick look at the market on our way to 2,000 subscribers where you come for a one-of-a-kind company made probability-based trading alert company philosophy as we are a probability-based TA trading and trading our company, right? But you can see here as I have an extremely busy day, uh, a monumental moment's about to take place. The U.S. government bonds and this will be exclusively to members of Jabroni Killers as it becomes live very soon, any day now, you would have known on my weekly videos that you're gonna get that will be categorized and archived for members of Jabroni Killer, you would have known that the 10-year government bonds, we've been forecasting since we've come on air a year ago that government bonds, the 10-year and the 20-year would skyrocket. And see this, we haven't done this in a while. 10-year government bonds have been, have been manipulated since 1980 with interest rates and hyperinflation stacked to take over, started to take over. I expect price to move up here on a huge move over the next couple of years, and that's 11% on the 10-year, and that would be a catastrophic financial collapse to all of the equity markets in the United States, right? And you can see when I made this video, or when I made this chart last year, these were down here. It was at its bottom, but it was starting to form this bottom here, right? Or where was it at? It was somewhere over here. It was down here, it, it didn't meet its upper resistance yet. And then we put a forecast out that we thought government bonds would come up here to its upper resistance at the 200 day moving average sometime during 2022. And now we're in early 2022. And you can see we're making a run up at that 2.73% that we forecasted as a first break up. And then if you could get above the 200 day, then you shoot up here really quick. There's not a lot of, there's nothing but air in here. It would shoot up there really quick if you got above the 2.73%. It would go from that area straight up to about 10%, right? So that's what we're watching out for. And you say, well, what the fuck does this have to do with the crypto? Well, if you look at the crypto, the crypto has been having problems as government bonds have been making historic runs up. And you can see bonds are up today. Crypto's down today. It's no coincidence. It's all lock, stepped, and barrel together. And you would have, you would be out ahead of the competition by having that inside information on the U.S. government bonds and how that corresponds and correlates into the price of Bitcoin, which corresponds into the U.S. dollar, which floats into the federal interest rates, monetary and fiscal policy. Are they bullish? Are they hawkish? Are they dovish coming out of the Fed? That all correlates into the Bitcoin price. And when you're a member, it's a pony killer. You're going to be all 69.69 .69 steps ahead of the competition. That's not just a slogan that I say. That is the truth because you're going to have all this information and then you can wrap it all up and throw it onto your technical trading chart and look at the chart and the coins and get a feel for if you're bullish or bearish based off of what's going on with everything else around you because this isn't this isn't this vacuum this all correlates together and you can see right now that you're going to come back down and more than likely like we've been calling for if i can get my industry exclusive drawing tool to work come back test this orange ring at the 30 41 thousand dollar mark let's move this in the current price you're going to back test this right and then if you fail that that's where the fun starts if you come back test this and can't hold it as support then you start falling down from the, the orange ring that you overshot to the blue ring right below it at 39,000. And then your ultimate short-term target would be in a step-down fashion, 41,413, 69. If you can't hold that, you're going to 39,169. And then if you can't hold that, you're double bottoming where that blue arrow is at the 35,569, right? But if you come down and back test and hold this critical area right here, then you can come up and shoot up and trade all the way up to this next upper target that we have up there at the 53,000 and change. We're gonna move the price to current date. That's all we ever do with these. We just move things to current time frame, right? And that would be your upper target if you can back test and hold that 41,000 and 52,669 is in play. And we're gonna keep an eye out on that. And I'm gonna let you go here. The Dogecoin, you can see it's back testing. It's underneath support on the 200 day moving average at about 15 cents and now it's underneath support come on it's underneath support it is on the current time frame almost exactly on that blue ring and that white uh descending 
lower support from the falling channel or symmetrical triangle that you're in the doge so if you can't hold this 200 day you're coming straight down here to 12 cents real quick if you can get a nice hold and a bounce you can trade all the way up into this area in the next couple of days so watch out for that the doge and then the xrp you can see we're doing what we thought we would when you come up here and overshoot if you watch the videos from back there there's a 200 day moving average right there in the daily time frame if we go to the daily see that and you're getting rejected by it like we were forecasting to and then we said the critical part now after it pumped and got into here is when it back tests the 72 cents which is lower support again which after it flushed it hit it as upper resistance and broke back into it now it's got to hit it as lower support and if it can hold then you can trade all the way back up into this area and hit this upper resistance right and that'd be a good trade but if it comes down bounces a little bit the 200 day comes down it rejects it it falls through you're coming all the way back here first and then more than likely all the way down to that 47 cent mark like subscribe and share to Vincenzo's go for investing peace and love peace and love